Hello and welcome to Big Orbit's Card for Vanguard weekly update. My name is James and today I'll be going through the cards shown throughout the past 7 days. Now finally the final bits of GBT13 have been revealed. So there's going to be a lot to this week but I'm just going to go through them a bit quicker like I did with last week. I'm also not going to talk about stuff like vanilla triggers or anything like that. As there is so much GBT13 to go through, I will firstly talk about the couple of GEBO2 cards that were revealed this week, such as the Matrix Code Zebra from Great Nature. Now it may only have 8000 power as a grade 2, but it also has auto generation break 1. When this unit is placed on rearguard circle from hand, look at the top card of your deck and you may call it to rearguard circle. If you call the unit with the success ability, increase this unit's power by the original power of that unit until the end of the turn. Shuffle your deck. Although this is based off barcode zebra, who is also a superior caller, Superior isn't generally a thing that Great Nature are known for too well. I don't know if this is a sign that they'll be getting more Superior Calling in this set, but I think it's something they don't really need. This is quite an easy way to get to a successful though, depending on what the top card of your deck is, obviously. New Nectar get a grade 2, Cyclamem Persicum Musketeer Favela. She has auto rearguard circle once per turn, generation break 1. When your other unit with musketeer in its card name is placed on rearguard circle, choose one of your rearguards with musketeer in its card name other than this unit. And until the end of turn, that unit gets plus 6000 power and resist on rearguard circle. The fact that this doesn't require a call from deck makes this extremely good and reliable. This also puts a normal 16k column up to 22,000. Each clan in GBT13 get a new double R heal trigger, which will most likely be the case for all main clans eventually. Angel Feather get Eradicate Celestial Rabiel, Gold Paladin get Liberator Shaggy Bunny, Kagro get Dragon Dance Atara, Tachikaze get Converse Ornith, Murakumo get Stealth Fiend Tamayuki, Spike Brothers have Dudley Cheers Lindsay, and Aqua Force get Blue Wave Engineer Refit Sailor. They all have the same ability of auto bind this card face up and choose another heal from your drop zone and bind it face up. When this card is discarded from hand for the cost of a G Guardian, you may pay the cost if you do counter charge one or soul charge one. Now this skill is obviously better for some clans than others, but it is important to look out for Dudley Cheers Lindsay as she can now speed up the Hellhard 8 turbo by a lot. This is because the Grade 3 Jelly Beans can search your deck for any 2 Grade 2 or less Dudley cards and add them to your hand, making this card a prime target for putting into your hand and then, and then just spamming G-Guardians. Shining True Liberator Sarum Gritter is the new stride for Gold Paladin. It has Act Vanguard Circle once per turn, Counter Plus 1, if you have a heart card with Liberator in its card name, Look at three cards from the top of your deck, call up to two cards with Liberator in their card name to separate rear guard circle from among them, and put the rest to the bottom of your deck in any order. This is basically the same skill as the new Garmor. It was most likely made for non-Garmor Liberator builds though, such as the Legion, but it can still be used with Garmor to change your field from empty to nearly full for just Counter Blaster 2. Golds also get Militant Act Dragon, which has Auto Vanguard Circle, Rearguard Circle, Counter Blast 1. When your G unit stride, you may pay the cost if you do. Put all cards from other circles other than the Vanguard Circle on the bottom of your deck in any order. If one or more cards were put, look at three cards from the top of your deck, call up to two cards from among them to separate Rearguard Circle, and put the rest to the bottom of your deck in any order. So really, Golds got two striders, and this one works on Rearguard Circle. It works especially well against Link Joker and Mega Colony to get rid of all the affected units. It also helps Liberators a lot so they can spam the field again and by doing so gaining lots of power. Angel Feather have a few more cards left, such as the Grade 2 Black Curve Izaziel. She has Rescue 1, Auto Damage Zone, Generation Break 1, Counter Plus 1. When your unit with the Rescue ability attacks, you may pay the cost. If you do, call this face up card to Rear Guard Circle. If you do that, put the top card of your deck into the Damage Zone face down, choose a card from a Damage Zone, heal it, choose one of your Vanguards and deal 1 damage. This is just a generally good way to get an extra attack per turn and having the rescue out afterwards makes it a good target for any rescue triggers you might pull. Black Prepare Arakiba is a perfect guard that works from hand as well as having rescue 1 auto damage zone at the beginning of the guard step that your unit with the rescue ability was attacked. You may call this face up card to guardian circle and it gets plus 15,000 shield. If you put the top card of your deck into the damage zone face down, choose a card from your damage zone, heal it choose one of your vanguards and deal it one damage. This won't work with the old Gavriel unfortunately, but it's looking very good for Gavriel Prim, also giving the chance to, of getting a defensive rescue check. 
Black Cause Muriel is a forerunner with Act, Rearguard Circle, Generation Break 1, Counter Blast 1, and put this unit into your soul. Put the top card of your deck into the damage zone face up, choose a face up card from your damage zone, and call it to Rearguard Circle. And if you have a Vanguard with Rescue ability, at the end of the turn, you may, you may put the unit called due to this effect into your hand. This can activate two on call skills from the same card, or you can put things like Perfect Guards back into your hand. Initial Celestial Ruhiel is another forerunner, this time with Auto Rearguard Circle put this unit into your soul. When your unit with Celestial in its card name is placed on Vanguard Circle, you may pay the cost. If you do, counter charge one. If you have a face-up card in your damage zone with, with the same card name as a card in your Vanguard Circle, draw a card. Counter charging is especially important for Celestials, as working with face-up damage is what they do. Peniel can be better as an offensive option, but due to the draw, this can help more for defense. Nutrient Angel is a critical trigger with Act Rear Guard Circle Generation Break 1, Counter Blast 1 and put this unit into your soul. Choose up to two cards from your damage zone or circle and turn them face up. This means you can counter charge, unlock and even undelete through this one card which is actually amazing and being a critical trigger it's almost definitely going to be used. Stealth Beast Instant Swiper is a Grade 2 for Murakuma with Shadow Stitch, Auto Rearguard Circle, Generation Break 1, Counter Blast 1 and Retire this unit. At the end of the battle that this unit attacked a Vanguard and the attack did not hit, you may pay the cost. If you do, search your deck for up to one card with the same card name as your Vanguard, call it to Rearguard Circle and shuffle your deck. And at the end of the turn, put the unit called with this effect on the bottom of your deck. This works quite well with Dual Weapon to get early multi-attack in. You can always recycle them back with cards like Tanba or Fugen. Murakumo also gets Stealth Rogue of Misfortune Shirasagi, a draw trigger with Act Rearguard Circle, put this unit into your soul, choose one of your units and it gets plus 3000 power until the end of the turn. For Spy Brothers, we have a G Guardian, Sturdy Barricade Hecaton Gus. He has Auto. When this unit is placed on Guardian Circle, choose up to three cards with different grades from your drop zone or soul and put them to the bottom of your deck in any order. If three cards were put, this unit gets plus 10,000 shield until the end of the battle. This is very good in charge in case you lose some of your key cards before your big attack and putting triggers back doesn't hurt because you'll most likely be shuffling your deck anyway. Power Flicker is a grade 3 with Auto, Vanguard Circle, Rearguard Circle, Generation Break 1, Counter Blast 1. At the end of the battle that this unit attacked, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose up to one card from your hand, call it to open Rearguard Circle. Till the end of turn, it gets plus 2000 power, and if this unit is on Vanguard Circle, the called unit gets plus 2000 power. This calling Axe Diver can actually give you two more attacks, as Axe Diver can essentially restand Power Flicker back up. Razor Brugget is a charge grade 2 with continuous rearguard circle generation break 1. If this unit is charging, this unit gets power plus 5000 and auto generation break 1, counter blast 1 and choose a card from your hand and put it into your soul. When this charging unit is put into your, from rearguard circle back into deck, you may pay the cost. If you do, search your deck for up to one non grade 2 card with the charge ability and call it to open rearguard circle that, that this unit not on. And sure, it's a bit odd that it can't search for grade 2s, but fueling the soul may help to get an extra attack in with things like Miracle Ace for his soul blast of 2 cost. Mecha Instructor is a stand trigger with charge and auto, generation break 1, choose a card from your hand and pull it into your soul. When this unit is put into the deck from rearguard circle you may pay the cost if you do, choose up to one of your rearguards, bind it face up and call the bound card to open rearguard circle. Similar to Axe Diver, and again, using it with Axe Diver can give you two extra attacks. Lastly, for spikes, we have Dudley Schema. It has a skill of Act Rearguard Circle, put this unit into your soul, choose up to one of your other units, and it gets plus 3000 power until the end of the turn. Dragonic Overlord is back with a new Grade 3 and Stride form. His Grade 3 form is Dragonic Overlord the Destiny. The first skill is Auto Rearguard Circle Soul Blast 1. When this unit is placed on Vanguard Circle from hand or at the beginning of your ride phase, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose one of any fighter's circles other than the Vanguard Circle and put all cards on that circle into the drop zone. This does bypass, resist and lock, so an extremely good skill for just a Soul Blast of 1 once per turn. Then he has Auto Vanguard Circle Counter Blast 1. When your G unit strides, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose one of your opponent's rearguards and retire it. Look at seven cards from the top of your deck, reveal up to one card with Overlord and its card name from among them, and put it into your hand and shuffle your deck. Now, the putting it, a card into your hand is especially good for the stride form, Supreme Heavenly Emperor Dragon Dragonic Overlord the Purge. 
The first skill is Act Vanguard Circle once per turn. Choose a face down card from your G zone and turn it face up. And choose a card with Overlord in its card name from your hand and put it into your soul. If the number of cards in your opponent's damage zone is four or less, choose one of your opponent's vanguards and deal one damage. All trigger effects are nullified for that damage check. Not only do you easily get the Overlord card from the on stride skill, but this also fuels the soul blast of the grade three. He also has continuous Vanguard Circle Generation Break 3. This unit's drive is equal to the number of cards in your opponent's damage zone. So it doesn't have a restand ability, which some people might be upset about, but having five drive checks and dealing an instant damage is just as devastating, especially with it being such a low cost. Dragon Knight Name is a grade one for Blademaster with Blaze and Auto Rearguard Circle Generation Break 1. When this unit attacks or boosts, if your Vanguard with Blademaster in this card name is blazing, you may have this unit get power plus 4000 till the end of battle. If you do, at the end of the battle, put this unit into your soul, choose one of your units, and it gets plus 4000 power until the end of turn. This is pretty good for the soul game, and cards already gain good amount of power from Blaze, so this should help put you over that amount that just pushes the extra bit of damage. Recuperate Draco Kid is a forerunner for Kagero with Auto Rearguard Circle Counter Blast 1. When this unit attacks or boosts, if you have a Vanguard with Blaze ability, you may pay the cost if you do. This unit gets power plus 1000 until the end of turn for each of your opponent's open rearguard circle, and at the end of battle, if the attack hits vanguard, draw a card, and put this unit into your soul. This is pretty good for early game, but the counterblast can seem like a lot for what it's doing, especially as you have to counterblast before the attack hits. But it could be end up being quite stronger with 10k at full power. The last of the clans to talk about is Aquaforce. We have a new G Guardian, Blue Wave Armor General, Galphilia. She has the first skill of Continuous Guardian Circle, Wave second to third time only. This unit gets Shield plus 5000. Not too impressive at first glance, but she also has Act G Zone, Soul Blast 1, turn this card face down. Choose a card from your damage zone or circle and turn it face up. Like the Angel Feather Critical Trigger, this can also unlock and undelete, as well as giving you the possibility of using more G Guardians than before, providing you can get heal triggers back. Blue Wave Recruit Costi is a new forerunner with Auto, Rearguard Circle, Counter Blast 1, and Retire this unit. At the end of the battle that this unit boosted a Rearguard with Blue Wave in its card name, you may pay the cost. If you do, draw a card. If you have a face-up card with Blue Wave in its original card name on your Vanguard Circle and in your G-Zone, choose one of your Rearguards and it gets power plus 4000 until the end of turn. Bubble Edge Draco Kid can potentially draw you more, but this definitely is a much easier condition to meet, and the power-up can help a lot for cards like Gallius. There is also Blue Wave Soldier Bluegill Trooper, who has Act Rearguard Circle, put this unit into your soul and choose one of your units, and it gets plus 3000 power until the end of turn. And that is everything for this week. Be sure to check out next week, when I'll be going through the card stream throughout the next 7 days, which will most likely be all GEBO2 stuff, which is quite exciting, just to have some clans like Great Nature and Mega Colony who get support every now and again. Then you have stuff like Neo Nectar, which does get a bit more support, but still not as much than a lot of other clans. So be sure to check that out if you're interested, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!